911, may I help you? Yes, my daughter is being stalked online and we need help. Yes, ma'am. Please stay calm. I'll transfer you to a detective who can help you with this matter. Paige here. Can you please explain to me what's going on and I'll try to help. Yes, um, I'm Michelle Ashley and there's this guy who's been emailing my daughter trying to get her to send pictures and, and to meet him. And now he's calling our house and he's saying sick things on our answering machine and it needs to stop. The first thing that you need to do is to keep your daughter offline. No emailing, no social networking, completely offline. Now, if she's offline, he won't be able to find her. That's the safest thing to do. You know what? Guess what, Aiden? I'm gonna be chaperoning at the dance next oh, week. Oh, God. Won't that be fun? It's just not cool to have your dad at the dance. You don't do it. Oh, well, your dad is cool, aren't you, honey? You know I wore gold chains and danced with your mother all the time. Dad, this is 99, not 79. Hey, I'm still cool, though, right? I mean, aren't I? You are not chaperoning my dance next weekend. Seriously, am I, <laughs> am I that embarrassing to be seen with in public? Yes. Yeah. Well, I used to be cool. Dad, are you locking people in or out? Sweetheart, I'm a dad. I do dad things. I think you'll understand that when you have kids of your own. Just stay off the computer. Thank you. Seriously. I, uh, really miss those days when chest hair and gold chains ruled the beach. <laughs> yeah. You were something. No, you were something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I was hoping to catch you. See? I'll See him again. Back. I guess you're out. I'm thinking of you. Are you avoiding me? I need to see you. You know that I love you. She's never even met you. Sweetheart, it's okay. Shh, just calm down, okay? We are safe here. Why doesn't it feel like it? I love you, miss you. Ah, oh, gross. This guy is sick. Hey, we got Todd for here. Come on down to me. Detective Page says it's pretty serious. Right. You know what I think? Come here, honey. I think we are gonna get through this. We have Detective Page standing by and he's just a phone call away. <sighs> Sweetheart, it's okay. Hey, Mom, I'm not really hungry. Aiden, honey, you need to eat something. You're not on that computer, are you? <sighs> Hang on. Uh, Aiden. And why is the window open? I don't know, because someone opened it. Very funny. Hey, 
Make sure you call us before you go to bed, okay? Listen, honey, you don't worry about anything, okay? It's all gonna be all right. You just get some sleep. And stay off the computer. Look at this. He's been here tonight. Look, our phone number, our security access codes. Oh my God. Okay, call 911. Yeah. I'm gonna call Detective Page from the office phone. 911 emergency. Yes, we've had a break in. Ah. Is the intruder still there? No, not that I can see. Okay, ma'am. I want you to stay calm. Is anyone hurt? No, but I need you to send someone to 7 Merle Avenue right now. Oh no, he's still here. I can hear I can hear him outside. I think he's I think he's gonna ah! Michelle? There's a he's, police cruiser he's in here. He just area. crashed the window. I think he's in the house right now. Help! Help! What you reading? An old cold case of mine, double murder. Thirteen years. Still haven't been able to close it. Yeah. Something I'm missing. I'm thinking a hairpiece and maybe some deodorant to start with. No? All right, any solid witnesses, suspects, survivors? No. Well, yeah, one survivor, but she completely disappeared, untraceable. No address, bank accounts, credit cards, cell phones, no nothing. She's a ghost. We've turned over every rock and exhausted every lead trying to find her. She's in deep hiding, poor kid. Take a look at this. What? Is that her? Where'd you find that? That's technology. No, 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 no. She wouldn't have set up a profile page under her own name. She's, she's untraceable for a reason. That killer's still out on the streets. I'm telling you, this is not her doing. That's tech. It updates much quicker than your Flintstone files. It's unbelievable. He's stalking her again. You're going to want to trace the IP and get in touch with the server. OK. We got to bring in the computer guy immediately so we can find her before he does. Detective Bonham, you must be one of Philadelphia's finest. So where do you think I am, detective? It's a bad day for me, being an anniversary. I mean, 13 years to the day, and look at me. No family, nothing. Living and hiding under a fake name. I mean, who the hell am I? I'm just as dead as they are. OK, Aiden, stop. I know. It's just so hard. First thing, you can't hide here with all your paintings every day and expect to get any better. You say you want to meet new people, but... I'm trying. 
No matter what I do, it's always there. No matter how I try to distract myself. It's built into me. It's killing me. You're an artist. By definition, you need to reach out to other people. Experience the world around you. Your art is the vehicle to do that. So begin there. Paint the starting line, and I'm guessing that you might have an actual relationship with something other than a piece of canvas. What do you say? Forward march? <laughs> you know, if you ever meet Tony Robbins, you should marry him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've got to go. I've got a patient. Hey, thanks. And I'm sorry I'm such a head case. You're a great therapist. I mean, you really helped me the last few years. Tell you what, if you put the past behind you, all your days will be good days. Thanks, Mrs. Tony Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Quite captivating. What's it called? Lilacs untouched. Shall I wrap it up to go, or would you prefer we ship it? His pushiness grows on you. Genius sells itself. When I first saw her work, I said to myself, this person gets me in a way that no one else ever has. Everyone who meets her, she just has this effect on people. They all fall in love with her. And how could you not love her? Aiden is my most important discovery, equal only to the advent of gin and tonic. Bold statement. Especially if you knew how much he drank. <laughs> Easy. I'll take it. Well, how about some of that gin you were talking about? Genius idea. Detective Page, Jack Dayton from Cybercarmetics. We spoke on the phone. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, yeah, let me uh, close the door so we can have some privacy. Okay. Do you mind if I take a look at your computer? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> Huh. I can see why you called. I brought up to date Fed background checks on everyone involved in the case, everyone working on the case, yourself and I included. I feel like if we want to catch this guy, we trust no one. Fight tech for tech. So, um, tracked over a million IPs back to the original server, which is out of a hotel on the East Coast. He used the Wi Fi to hack the hotel server. That's, that's the end of the line. He was there. Wait a minute, you're telling me you found him? Yeah, for a second. Can you do it again? Absolutely. Mr. Dayton, I'm looking forward to working with you. All right. <laughs>I thought they should have kept the fire pole when they converted this place. Wow. Where'd you get the rotary phone? Does that still work? You know me, low tech or no tech. And yes, it was my parents. Aiden, you need to update and complicate. Come join the world. It's not such a bad place. Technology's made us lazy and lonely. I'd rather hours of solitude than burying my face in texts and status updates. Well, that one sale can lead to more, but you need to think outside the bun here. This is so 94. You couldn't text on this if you tried. I feel dirty just holding it. Very funny. This is the good old days. Before GPS and every cell phone. <laughs> You know, an art show's not something I think I'm ready for. Well, no one's ever ready. I mean, you, you just do it. Rip the Band-Aid right off. Expose yourself to the world. I'm not the flasher type. 
Ah, you've got the goods, in more ways than one, I might add. You should show them off. You're a great salesman, and I love you for it. But? And I love you too, but starving artist is not an effective weight loss plan. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love being your patron saint and paying all the bills, but even the Pope will tell you, it's time to move on. This. What's what? This. I call it Injir. Maddie, this work is fabulous. This is gonna break you to the world. What are you typing? A surprise, exclusive, last minute, one night only engagement. Only a select few in the know will know, all haves, no knots, high-end clientele. Addie, darling, you're going to have a show. I am? You are. We are. Info's uploaded to my site's messaging board. I can do some follow-up press and an evite tonight. You can use your fake name if you want, but it's here. It's all right here at the press of a button. That enter button. Come on, Addie. I know you're a technophobe and everything, but it's time. It's selfish to keep all this beauty to yourself. Aiden, I promise I'll stop talking if you press enter. Okay, let's not do it now, but I will send it later, closer to the show. Okay. I found this painting in evidence to take a look. A brush stroke is as unique as a fingerprint. If she's still painting, we'll find her. I developed this program I call the E-Later. It's a cross-referencer that can gather and analyze online picture files for not just where the photo was taken and on what medium, but to the actual content within the photo, right down to the brush stroke. It's amazing. Get that a lot. <laughs> I'll get the program running on your database, worldwide search until we find what we're looking for. It'll take a couple days. Unless we get lucky. Make it happen. Okay. How do I look? Disgusting. How is it you look so good with so little effort? I hate you sometimes. Yeah, well, I hate you better. Listen, your parents would have been really proud of you tonight. It's a forward march, right? After you. Wow, this is it. It's all here. Ladies? Winton! Thank you. You know I don't drink. It may help. Winton, you've outdone yourself. Salutations. Andy? There's some people I want you to meet. Forward. When they look back and talk of Monet and Basquiat, the name Aidan Cornelis will be whispered in the same sentence. No low angles, double chin. <laughs> but really, she's far too modest. When I look upon her work, to me it's like a... a, a poem without words. Exactly. Let me show you her latest work. Right this way, please. Found. The 
definitive endure. Personally, I see less abstract and more realism in your recent work. I would say that's about right. I'm a big fan of your use of negative space. The emotional impact is a sometimes Van Gogh feeling to it. You're not gonna cut your ear off, are you? Oh, well, yeah, we'll have to see how tonight goes. Paul Rogers. Aiden Cornelis. Pleasure to meet you. Can't say that about the rest of this crowd, though. They're kind of like cartoon characters, right? Yeah, I tend to hate these things. If there could only be art without the art craft. Absolutely. So what else should I know about Miss Aiden Cornelis? Me, um, I rock at solitaire. I talk in my sleep, mostly about politics. Oh, and this boy, Jim Plummer, once in the fifth grade, he told everybody I kissed him in the schoolyard. That never happened. No idea why I told you any of that. So what about you? Me? I'm the youngest of three, older sister, brother, and like you, Jim Plummer told everyone that I kissed him in the schoolyard. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Even embarrassed looks good on you. Miss Cornelis, these just came for you. Wow, well, if these are from you, then you're officially very smooth. Wish they were. Lucky guy. <clears throat> uh, but who then? It doesn't have a card. Mr. Flowers. I don't have a Mr. Flowers. <laughs> the lengths a guy will go to have a drink with a girl, huh? Or coffee. Water. Look, if you don't ingest fluids, we could just sit there and consume large amounts of solid matter. Or you can please interrupt me and... I just don't know. I... Ah, oh, it's my hair. It's just too perfect for... Most people, I, I try to mess it up. It just ends up always having this whole game show host vibe. Oh, okay, hi. stop talking. I'll go. Sorry to interrupt. I need to get going. Oh, excuse me. I... Of course. So, how does Forward feel? It's terrifying. I should probably get a cat. No, you should go for it. And, um, if he has a brother... <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm proud of you. Bye. Oh, Addy. Two paintings just sold online. Low five figures. You're my golden goose, Addy. Aiden, I uh, just want to leave you my card. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Wait, so you're leaving already? Uh, I was, uh, I was thinking about it, but I can put it off for a while. So there's no Mrs. Flowers. I'm allergic to pollen. A match found. A match found. It's a match. Well, I'll be. A match found. A match found. Would you like a GPS location for this picture? I think so. Two forty one Eagle Creek Road, Philadelphia. You sure you're okay to drive? You look a little unfit to operate heavy machinery. Oh, fine. It's nothing I can't handle. I could well, call you a cab. Yeah, I don't drink very much. <laughs> look, why don't I just drive you home? I don't want to put you out. You're not. Cybercrimetics, please leave a message after the tone. Dayton, Paige here. I need you to run a plate number for me. D double T seven three three six. I know it's late, but I need it ASAP. Thanks. Hey, 
Thanks for driving me home, Mr. Paul Rogers. Hey, wait, your name is Mr. Rogers. That's actually the first time I've ever heard that. It was a pleasure. Consider it my contribution to the arts. You are quite the philanthropist. Easy for you to say. Wait, Paul, I don't... I don't want... You don't want... I'm... I'm... I'm sorry, uh... We only just met, and I... I get it. It's not that I don't want to, because I do. It's just I'm... Hey, I... Same here. How about dinner, then? Tomorrow night? Hmm. Tomorrow at seven? I'll be there with a bell on. You mean bells. Plural. You're a quick one. <laughs> I didn't mean to slam the door on you like that. <laughs> Get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, Mr. Rogers. Hi, Aiden. It's been a long time. Detective Page. Well, how'd you find me? The same way I think he could. Magic found. 241 Eagle Creek Road, Philadelphia. Is that gray in your hair? Tell me about it. Music I used to listen to growing up is now considered classic rock. Depressing as hell. I thought you were a fellow technophobe. Ah, I still am. Good news. We hired this company, well, specifically this tech guy named Jack Dayton, who introduced us to this uh, picture data from the web, which is how we found you. Come see. He's already found me, hasn't he? We got this new weapon. Dayton's company can track down in minutes what would take Interpol weeks. We're gonna end this, Aiden. All of it. What next? Cybercrimetics, which is Dayton's expertise, will be working out of our office. And I'm gonna be right here outside your door along with my partner keeping watch. He's gonna surface again. And when he does, we're gonna nail him. Of course, we're gonna have our work cut out for us. It's good to see you, Aiden. I wish the circumstances were better. No offense, but I look forward to every day I don't see you. <laughs> I understand. I'm going back to the office to sign off on a few surveillance uh, expenditures, but I'll be right back. I'm calling the billing manager for the outdoor key in case we need somebody on the inside. Lock the door. Hey, I take it back. It has been good to see you. Good night, Ian.
morning. I'm so sorry you spent the night in the car. I will be here every night until we catch this guy. Tell me about Winton Cornelis. Winton's a good friend. Hmm. He's certainly your number one fan. He's gone as far as to give you his last name. It's like a marriage without the proposal. He's done nothing but support me. Literally. Helped to pay your bills. Calls you three, four times a day. He's my friend and my exhibitor. How'd you meet? At an art show. Did he approach you? Yeah, look, it's not him. 10 years is a long time, Aiden. 13 is longer. Fair enough. I left my car at the gallery last night. Will you give me a ride? Sure. Oh, hey, thanks for coming. Power's been flickering all night. The trouble seems to be coming from Unit 1. I'll be in apartment four if you need me. All right, then. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Let's I should have just. I should have just picked you up. No, I like my car. I just don't get out a lot. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> I um, I work from a home office in my basement, so I'm stuck underground, literally all day, every day. I'm like the mole people. Oh, I don't leave by choice. Is that weird? Would you folks like anything else? Absolutely. Uh, I'll have a coffee black with a lemon wedge mm -hmm. and Aiden. Same. So what do you do? Telecommunications, mostly. Computers. Ran the plates and background in background on Paul Rogers. He was living in town at the time of her parents' murders. Really? Circumstantial, but he does have an assault charge against a woman. He could be our guy. Where is she? She's at dinner with him. So, let's move on to the personal question around uh, any recent fiancés, significant others, wife partners, stalker, ex-boyfriends. What? Sorry. Um, hello? Aiden. Paul could be the one. What? Okay, I need you to stay calm. He was living in Walnut Grove the night of your parents' murder, and he's got an assault charge against a woman. Where are you? The, uh... The Hyper Buddha. It's on 66. Okay. Don't leave. Make sure everyone in the place can see you. I'm on my way. And stay calm. Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Everything okay? 
I'm fine. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Okay. Sure. Are you okay? <laughs> Look, uh, if if you're not feeling all right, I I can get someone. Aiden. Aiden! Strangely enough, there's something hopeful about this. Closest we've been in 13 years. I can park myself right outside the door tonight. Stay on the couch, whatever you want. Where's your wife? My wife. <laughs> We're divorced. She took our daughter and I haven't seen them in years. I can't say I blame her. I was never the husband or father I should have been. I'm sorry. Aiden, are you sure you don't want me to stay tonight? I'm okay. Okay. I'll be outside in the car. me for this, you know. How many times I saved your life, huh? None. Well, remind me to. You catch the game on TV the other night? I don't watch TV. Good night. Good night.
Yes? Miss Cornelis, it's the superintendent here. What is it? Well, we've been having some power surges in the building here, but it's being worked on, just so you know. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm Detective Bonham. I'll be working with Detective Page. Just thought I would stop and introduce myself. I'll be out in front if you need me. Significant others, wife partners, stalker, ex boyfriends. Aiden pulls the wood. Constantly. All I can say is channel it into your art and let the police do their job. <laughs> I'm just in this constant state of paranoia. Paranoia is just nature's survival instinct. Everyone needs and uses it to a certain extent. In your case, it's the most normal thing about your life. <sighs> Addie, listen. I'm here for you, okay? Jill Gachet, who are you? James Page, but you already know that, don't you? What's this all of? Get out! September 3rd, 1999. Where were you? Were you trying to? You were living there the night that Seamus <clears throat> and Michelle Ashley were murdered, huh? Would you just ease up huh? a sec? Who were you? I. That was uh, almost 15 years ago. Do you remember where you were? Yeah. I was putting two innocent people in body bags. So guess who they were? Am I being charged with something here? I'm not gonna ask you again. Where were you? I grew up in Walnut Grove. All right, but 1999, I, 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 I was backpacking in Europe that summer. I, I don't understand what any of this has to do with Aiden. Ashley. Yeah. Seamus, yeah. Michelle, and Aiden. Ashley, she was. She was that girl. Yeah, she was that girl. April 4th, 2001. Remember your assault charge? I, uh... I was walking home like I did any other day, and I see this guy, this big guy with his girlfriend, and they're fighting both in each other's face. So I, I, I tried to stop him. So when the police came, she pressed charges against me because she was scared of her boyfriend. <sighs> she dropped them a couple days later. It's all on file. Dayton. Dayton. 
Give me the passport file on Paul Rogers and the paperwork on the assault charges. He's not our guy. You're positive? Completely. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Checked out, right? You're free to go. Is she gonna be all right? I don't know. Look, if there's anything I, I can do... I said you're free to I... go. Get out of here. It's not him, is it? I'm sorry. Welcome home, Aiden. So now what? Uh, I'll let you know. Everyone else checked out? What do you mean? Well, Winston checked out. Yeah? Why? It's just me being me. Did he say something? No. Did he do something? No. I just need sleep. Try to get some rest, okay? Winton Cornelis. I'll check into Cornelis for you. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, you reached Paul Rogers. I'm not here right now. Please leave a message. Hey, Paul, it's me, Addie. Aiden. The unstable girl from last night. I just wanted to say sorry. What? I mean, I didn't even get to try the coffee. So if you want to take a break from the mole people and get out of your underground office for round two in the life and times of me, then... Aiden! OK, I'm rambling. No! Uh, no! I can tell my police escort to ease up a bit. You will not be with any other man! What? What the hell is going on in here? Ah! Idiot! 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Hello? I can hear some commotion there. Are you okay? I'll be dispatching both medical and police to your location. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Gas included, one parking space. Like the sign says, move in today. OK, I'll take it. What do you mean? Well, hey, you need a uh, night watchman tonight? If you could, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. See you there. Thanks. Who's he? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have introduced you. That's my partner, Detective Bono. You have someone helping you watch her that I don't know about? <laughs> Bonham can be trusted. According to files, Bonham started working at the same precinct not long after the murders. Would have given him enough time to apply and graduate the academy. He's a stand-up guy. I can vouch for him. Not the point. You got to keep me on top of these things. My apologies. So, getting back to this, what are you saying? The IP address led us to a residence that was abandoned and vandalized. Whoever trashed the basement suite and left in a hurry had some time and used the Gutman method, a series of algorithms used to securely erase hard drives running 35 patterns over the region to be deleted. Again, but in English? What I mean is, he took that much care to make sure that no one saw what was on those few remaining hard drives, but was so careless about one thing. What's that? A post-it note that must have slid under the desk. And on that post-it note? A code. To what? A bank account. Whose? Your account number, please? Yes, account number. 
816-6324. How can I help you today? I'd like to check a balance. Savings or checking? Checking. Last name? Cornelis. Your account is actually overdrawn. Shh. What? Overdrawn doesn't make any sense. Let me bring up your file. Hey, it's Paul. Hmm. Would you be able to come in and see us about the matter? Yes, I'll come in. See you soon, Miss Cornelis. Hey. Hey. I, uh, I hope I'm not the cause of that annoyed look on your face. <laughs> no, some bills overdrew my account. I have to go to the bank. My wall space, how may I help you? Hey, the account's set up in your name. It's been overdraft for some reason. Thoughts? What? No. No idea. Well, since I'm technically not on the account, can you go down and check it out? Definitely. Thanks. Excuse me. Detective James Page, Philadelphia PD. Got a minute? So, where do you feel like eating? Honestly, can we order in? Yeah, sure. It's my favorite type of food. Chinese? <laughs> Let's do Thai. All right. She's wonderful, isn't she? Amazing. She certainly had a rough go. To say the least. It's noble that you stepped up and kept her off the grid, so to speak, for so long. You've been like a um, guardian angel to her. Well, I think that's overselling it a bit. You two, um, you've never been, you know, intimate. Friends. With benefits? Just friends. I noticed you set up a business account and a substantial amount of money was taken out of it after the art show. You want to tell me about that? Yes, I, I just heard from Aiden. I was just on my way to the bank. I was already there saving the trip. It was transferred into your personal account. What? No. Well, not by me. No. We call that embezzlement. Are you here to arrest me? I'd rather get you on murder. You know, I usually stay away from this kind of stuff in order to maintain my girlish figure, but it's, it's pretty good. Mm, the delivery guy kind of knows me by name. Eat in a lot? More than I'd like. Understandable. It is. Of course. I just don't want to come off like a total recluse. Too late. The, uh... Stack of express post and takeout boxes kind of gave you away. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So what about you? You get out a lot? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I bike, I hike, I fish, bike. <laughs> it sounds a little Dr. Seuss, actually, but yeah, I, 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 uh, I like to play. You're like a giant kid. Hey, anyone can grow old, but it takes a certain <laughs> someone to stay immature for life, you know? I like that. So, um, 10 years from now, where do you see yourself? Uh, married, two kids, a minivan with terrible transmission. I don't know, just in a perfect world, someone to walk beside me and not have to look over my shoulder type deal. Huh. You know what? What? I'm a great walker. Hi. It's Jill. Listen, this may sound strange, but to me it's just not sitting right. I tried calling Detective Page, but I couldn't get through. I thought I should tell you for your own safety. Well, what is it? I have this new client. 
And you know me, I would never violate patient doctor confidentiality. But in this case... Right, you wouldn't tell me unless it was important. He was telling me about his past, asking questions. When he was young, his family was stalked out in Walnut Grove. And he moved to the city going offline, trying to escape this person. He went on and the details were exact. So you think he came to you to get to me? Yes. Aiden, watch your back. Bye. That worked out nicely. Paige here. I was talking to Jill earlier, and she says he's been into her office as a patient trying to get into my head. What? Yeah, you need to talk to her. I can't. What do you mean, can't? Jill's dead. What? An accident. She was hit crossing the street. Was it him? No. Some other guy. They're talking to him right now. This isn't happening. What is it? Look, I'm on my way over, and this time you're gonna to speak directly to Dayton. I'd feel better coming there. Um, can your guy make it for six? Okay, I'll call him. You want me to pick you up? I have a ride. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll see you there. What happened? Dayton. Uh, Jack. Yeah? Jill's dead. What? Talking on herself, she walked into traffic. Kidding. Meet me at the office in 10. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you then. I'll see you there. Hi. Thanks for getting in here. No problem. I'll be out here if you need me, OK? Thanks. Jack Dayton. Dayton Ashley. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry about your friend. Winton Cornelis, as I see it, he has you under lock and key. Is there anything in your life right now that's not tied to Mr. Cornelis? Winton's always been a good friend. He's taking money out of your account, Aiden. You're an investment to him, and he stands to make a lot of money. He's making a lot of money art purchases, and then taking the money from your account to pay for them. That seemed friendly to you. Is he here? Can I talk to him? Yeah. He's in the interrogation room. You need to tell them I'm not involved in any of this. I have known you for a very long time, and you've been nothing but amazing to me. I need you to look me in the eye and tell me you had nothing to do with this. I swear to you. I've done nothing. Any chance of happiness now and for the rest of my life will always be tainted because my parents aren't here. I'm begging you, if you know something, tell me now. Honestly? I don't know what's worse. Being locked up in here or that you could even think I'd possibly be able to do something like this. And I want you to know that in those sad, happy moments, I will always be there as your friend. Are we more than friends? Yes. 
Are we business partners? Yes. Can we both make each other a lot of money? Most definitely. But underneath that, you know I've always been here for you. I hope you can believe that. not him. Look, I know it's hard to accept this, but... Of the few people I do know in my life, I know, and it's not him. I mean, any online stuff, any money accounts, we know this guy can do that. What physical evidence do you have on Winton? It's him. And if it's not, I'm dead? then perhaps there's someone else in your life that you just don't know as well. Enough! You're just dogs chasing your tails. This man has spent the past 13 years of his life helping you, and I'm assuming he'd spend another 13. If it's not Winton Cornelis, then we'll keep looking. But for now, we have to focus on what we do have instead of what we don't. Here, if you have any concerns, call me. You know, Aiden, uh, I have a business call with Taiwan later tonight, which I can do via laptop, and that couch looks pretty comfy, so I can stay. If you'd like someone to be around, fill in the silence. You'd still stay after all that drama? Yeah. Aiden. Grab my stuff from the car? So your computer is like a phone? Uh-huh. Just press connect. No phone or long distance necessary. It's not gonna be weird that I still deadbolt my door, is it? You do what you gotta do. Thanks. Hi. Yeah, good night. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll just... So, will you check the account? Uh-huh. And tell me how many we can afford? There's about two. Two, maybe three. Just about. Good. Should be enough, though. Will you deliver it? Happy on the next invoice. Yep. Cargo boxes on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Morning delivery, please. Will do. And. Any additional cost of fridge?
okay. Are you okay? It's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I thought I was ready to have someone sleep over, but I wasn't. It, it, it's okay. I, uh, I, I understand. I'm an idiot. No, no. You're, you're just haunted. Look, uh, would it be easier if I just went home? Is that okay? I'm sorry. Maybe just for the rest of tonight. Sure. Um, look, you know where to reach me if you need me, right? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. an accident. Accident? How is Winton doing this from jail? We don't know that anyone's done anything yet. We just started the investigation. Yeah, we've done really well so far. I'll be right out here. Paul. Oh. oh, God. Paul, can you hear me? Paul. Page, 
过。This is Aiden, Aiden Ashley. I didn't know who else to call. Can we please talk? Of course. Are you okay, Miss Ashley? There's been some things. I just can we meet in person? Absolutely. Time and place. How about tonight? My apartment at eight o'clock. I'll be there. Thank you. Did he say anything? No. I've got to go. Aiden, it's important. Did he see who did this to him? Is there something you're not telling me? It's been a long day. Okay. I'll follow you home. Are you sure you don't want me to come in? Now's not a good time. Look, it may not feel like we're, we're getting anywhere right now, but I'm not gonna stop till we get him. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'll be right outside if you need me. Lock the door. I always do. Ashley, it's Jack Dayton. Would you buzz me in? Thanks for coming. This is Detective Page's hard drive. There's enough of your artwork and photos on here to make anyone uncomfortable. Paul did say he thought it was Detective Page who attacked him. He was the first responder on the scene 13 years ago. And he was the first one on the case when you started filing complaints with the police before your parents' passing. So it was him. Why would he stay on the case for so long? Seems something more than just trying to solve an unsolvable case. You know, something more than pride. Something that mattered more to him than saving his own marriage or family. His superiors, the city, everybody closes the investigation. But his investigation's intention was getting close and, and staying close to you. He hired me not to find the killer, but to find you. For him. And I led him right here. I understand it was, when I was young, it was his job, and, and now I, I thought he genuinely cared. These types of people, um, for them, it's about power, about entitlement. They will put you in harm's way just so they can save you. Then it's like a banker coming to collect what they're owed by any means necessary.
So what do we do? If we call the police now, who do you think would be the first person on the scene? We run, they have an entire force. We have two sets of eyes on us now. This is actually his police files and account? Of course. Why wouldn't he just kill me all those times we were alone together? Sometimes it's not their intention to kill the victim. They see themselves as protectors, guardians. He has a love that transcends what the average person could even begin to understand. It's, it's not love. To him, this could be the only thing he has left. A man with nothing is a very dangerous animal. It's worth, I think you're very talented. Thanks. The more I think about it, the more I realize there's nothing more artistic than to love others. Van Gogh, you've done your research. When you're bound to a chair, it forces you to be thorough. I guess we're both trapped in our own ways. <laughs> We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number or call your operator. I'm gonna check in on her. You sit hey. tight. Yeah. These kinds of files, are they standard for this type of police investigation? I mean, um, there's a lot here. Uh, wait. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just let him in every time he knocked. You know, I've researched thousands of these cases, and in some of them, the women in your situation have actually connected with their pursuer, both realizing that they wanted the same thing, a peace that only they could offer. Aiden. Aiden. I can hear you walking around. Are you okay? We're fine. We? It's just Dayton. What? Yeah, we're going over some files. Aiden. We've been out front the whole time. Dayton never came in the front door. Call Detective Bonham, he'll confirm it. I'm slipping his card underneath the door. You gotta open the door. Hang on. Aiden, just open the door. The phone isn't working. Aiden, please open the door. Don't open the door. Aiden? 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 Aiden! Open the 
door, Jack! Forty-one Eagle Creek Road. Go, go! Come on. What's going on? Damn it. You know, under Van Gogh's patch of brass painting, they recently found a scribbled out drawing of a woman. The same woman I'm guessing he gave his severed ear to. How could she not see the sacrifice he had made for her? Nothing more artistic than to love others. Why can't you love me? Please. Please, it's the... It's the only thing I have ever asked of you. There are so many ways this could end. Where begin? I just want to give you the happiness you deserve. And I want that more than anything. I'd kill myself for you. Please do! <laughs> Move, move, move! He's got a gun! Oh. Aiden! Are you okay? Come on, come on, let's get out of here! I wouldn't do that. Do you know how long I've waited for this? And now you're trying to take it from me? Haven't you done enough? Don't make me do this. We're not making you do Please. anything. Just put the gun down. Nobody needs to get hurt. <laughs> It's just the two of us, as it should be. Can't you see? What have you done? It'll never be the two of us. I'd rather die than be with you. I'm sorry. gonna miss me. Don't you have a flight to catch? No, I'm serious. When I moved to this city, I was terrified. You and Jill were my family. You know, London would be really nice this time of year. Or you could even go to Florence. Winton, I'm trying to say goodbye. I know. But this is a... 
It's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. But it's also the happiest day of my life. You've been through so much. And now you're free. It's what I've always dreamed of for you. I love you. You know that. <laughs> and I love you too. <clears throat> ah. And luckily, I love this man. So where are you going first? Well, he doesn't know it yet, but Paris. Oh. Why am I not surprised? <laughs>